Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla, and today I have a TJ Maxx and a little bit of Marshalls, or no, I should say Marshalls and a little bit of TJ Maxx because <laughs> this week it was all about Marshalls. They had a lot of really good stuff. So I am going to be sharing with you guys all the cool finds that I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And yeah, let's get started because there's a lot of things and I am really, really excited. Um, so I think I'm going to dive into some clothing items that I found first because the makeup is so exciting this week. So um, let's see. The first thing that I picked up clothing-wise related was just this little crop tee. Um, and it's kind of like faded and it was $6 from $7.99. Not a huge price drop, but still, you know something is something and I really liked it so um that is the first thing I bought um I also picked up a pair of jeans um I wear jeans for work every day so I needed a new pair and I got this one for $13 from $16.99 um it is high-waisted and skinny at the ankle so I'm excited about those and I'm so excited about this dress that I found it's so stinking adorable. I love the color. It's like this light purple pinkish type of color and it has flowers all over the place and it's just so stinking cute. I love the sleeves. Um, and this was $12 from $16.99 as well. Um, it has like this little section right here on the side which is, you know, sewn in there but you can see that it's you know not sewn on the sides or anything it's actually opened and it's just so cute and then you tie it in the back and i just really liked the design of it and for 12 dollars, yes why not um let's see i also picked up this super cute wine glass i picked up this hocus pocus wine glass so stinking cute i love drinking wine and one of my favorite movies is hocus pocus i am obsessed with them or anything that has to do with hocus pocus and it was only 4.99 at tj maxx which is the best part found a candle so this candle is so stinking cute. It reminds me of the new packaging for the Marc Jacobs Holiday Collection things. Um, but it's a candle and it smells so good. It's in cherry and lychee or lychee or however you want to say it. Um, but it smells so, so good. I don't know if I want to light it just because it's so stinking cute. But the glass container that it comes in is also filled with cherries and it's just it smells so good i don't feel like i feel like you don't even need to light it just the scent <laughs> it smells so good um so this candle was 3.99 and this is the small candle um i don't think it says how big it is oh it's 3.8 ounces so it's the small candle but they also have a bigger one and i think the bigger one is like 7.99 which is not bad at all and they also have a watermelon one as well, which I have to pick up the watermelon. And then the last thing, non-makeup related, is this cute little headband. So I got this um, headband for $3.99 at Marshalls. I love the colors. Um, it's like this dusty purple and then the flowers in the front. I used to have one of these in like a watermelon um, design but my daughter grabbed it and I don't know where it is so I bought a new one and then now we can dive into all of the makeup goodies because it's a lot and I'm really really excited I don't even know what to show you first let's see okay let's show you this first so at Marshall's for $5.99 I picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills loose highlighter um, and I got it in the shade Vegas. So I was kind of like on the fence whether I should pick this up or not because I really don't need any more loose highlighters. I really don't use them that often and I have like three or four. But I just couldn't pass it up. The price was perfect at $5.99. And then the container is so stinking cute. The color is so freaking adorable. So I'm very excited to own this. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. I picked up this um, a Cover FX 
dewy finish setting spray and I got it at Marshalls for $4.99 and I believe that this is the small version so, so this is not like the big one um, but that's okay because I don't go through setting sprays that fast anyways and I have so many setting sprays that I really don't need a full size so I kind of wanted to try it just because Cover FX is still one of those brands that I'm not too familiar with so I wanted to give it a try so it is the dewy finish spray and it looks like this and let's see how the spray is. It has like one of those um, paint can type of things on the inside. Um, let's see. Oh, it's like a very, like very nice mist. And I don't really uh, smell any scents or anything. So I'm very excited about this. Found this little baby right here. This is the NARS Studio 54 collection. It has a lip balm and a blush. So the lip balm is in Afterglow and the blush, or I believe they're both in the shade Torrid. Let me just reach in here. And these are babies, so they are not the full size. So yeah, so they are both in the color Torrid. So this is the lip balm right here. And I do own a big version of this lip balm, not this shade, a different shade. And I do love the way that this lip balm feels. This is the shade right there. It's like an orangey pinkish um, tone. But I do enjoy the way that it feels on the lips. So I'm so happy to have a little one that I can put in my purse. And then here is the blush. And the blush is also in the shade Torrid. So it is the same shade as the um, lip balm. And it's so freaking cute. The packaging is just so tiny. <laughs> and the blush is the same as the lip balm. It's like an orangey pink type of shade. So I'm very excited to have those. And it just so happens that I also have a, um, a face palette from that same um, collection from Studio 54 that I bought at Ulta on sale like a while ago. And this little baby was $7.99. So I'm very excited to own this. I also picked up a um, Becca Skin Love Brightening and Blurring Primer. And I got it at TJ Maxx for $6.99. So I've been wanting to try this primer. Um, just because I do like a glowing primer, but this one also says blurring. So I'm very, very excited to give it this a try and see how it performs on the face. And for $6.99, yeah, I feel like it went down. I feel like in the past it was like $9.99, but now it's $6.99. So pick that up. Very exciting. Um, then I also picked up this Stila pixel perfect concealer and i got this one at tj maxx for 5.99 so i recently purchased the foundation from this same line from ulta they had it on sale i think for like less than ten dollars but i found the concealer at uh, tj maxx and i got mine in the shade light medium number two so this is what it looks like and i'm very excited um concealer is something that i love to buy i don't know why i'm just obsessed with buying concealers <laughs> and that's the shade and i think that shade is going to be perfect for me because i don't really like my concealers to be too white um i like them to be a little more yellow and since i've had it here on my on my hand it seems like it oxidized so i don't know about that now i'm worried because it looked like it oxidized we have to try it on the face and see how it goes Okay, and then I found this It Cosmetics Lip Soften Softening Smooth Butter Gloss. And I found it at TJ Maxx for $7.99. Um, it's in the color Pretty in Pink. So um, TJ Maxx and Ulta have been, TJ Maxx and Marshalls have been bringing in a lot of like it Cosmetics and Stila and Cover FX and Urban Decay, um, but uh, It Cosmetics is still kind of pricey. Um, not as pricey, of course, as in, you know, Ulta and stuff like that, but it's still kind of pricey at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So for $7.99, this is pretty good. So this is what it looks like right here, and I'm so excited to try it on my lips and see what I think. I have tried a few It Cosmetics things in the past. I have um, one of their foundations 
and I have a powder from them that is the color red that is so pretty um and I'm not a big fan of neither of them <laughs> so I'm excited to see if I if I like this lip gloss it feels nice on my hand so we'll see we'll give it a try so I got this concealer at Marshalls for $6.99 and I got it in the shade medium light warm so I have seen these um, concealers in the past at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but they always had them in light. And like I said, I really don't like my concealers to be too light. So this is what it looks like right there. I think that's going to be a perfect shade. You can see that the seal one um, oxidized quite a lot. <laughs> So I'm nervous to put that one in my face, but the Urban Decay one looks really, really good. So I can't wait to try and that. And then, so I finally gave in and I decided to pick up the Marc Jacobs um, Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder in Invisible. I got this one at TJ Maxx for $12.99. And I say that I finally decided to pick it up because I keep looking at it and looking at it. Every time I go to the store, I see it and I'm always like, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. And then finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> I don't really have that many um, powders in my collection. So I really don't didn't feel bad about buying it. Um, so I can't wait to try it. I've heard it's really good. And I love finding Marc Jacobs. Um, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, so I'm very excited about this powder. I finally also decided to purchase the Urban Decay Wired Palette, and I got this one at Marshalls for $14.99. Now, this is a over $30 palette, so for $14.99, that's half off, not bad at all. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside, it's so pretty. I have been seeing this one as well, it's just like the Marc Jacobs powder. I kept seeing it everywhere and I was like, no, it's okay, I don't need any more palettes. But uh, I realized that I really don't have things like this in my collection. Like none of my palettes are really this vibrant. So I'm like, mm, you know what, this might be a fun palette to have to create fun looks with. So I am very excited to own this finally. I'm going to swatch a couple. I'm going to swatch this orange one, which is called Slow Burn which is very orange. I'm gonna do the pink, which is called Savage. And let's do the green over here, which is called Jolt. Okay, that green is kind of disappointing. But this is what the colors look like. Very, very pretty. I can't wait to create some looks with this. So I am very excited that I finally decided to purchase it. A few things are from Milk Makeup. So Milk Makeup has been making an appearance at TJ Maxx and Marshalls in the past couple of weeks and it's been very exciting. Milk Makeup is a brand that I am not too familiar with. I do know that most of their products are um, creams, not so much like powder formed. Um, I do have a video um, in which I tested half of my face. I tested a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight from Milk Makeup, and I um, did the other half of my face with um, Wet n Wild bronzer, blush, and highlight in cream form. And I felt in that video that I enjoyed the Wet n Wild side a lot more than I did the Milk Makeup. So I never really dove into the brand too much just because that video kind of left me a little bit disappointed in the products that I tried. But since they did came to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're very affordable, I thought why not, you know, purchase some and test them out. So I think that I'm going to do a video specifically on these products. So I'm just going to quickly go through them because I think that I have uh, a pretty good amount of products that we can test. So I decided to buy the um, Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. I got this one at TJ Maxx for $11.99 and I got it in the shade Medium. I also found the Milk Makeup Powder. I got this one in Translucent Medium. I got it at Marshalls for $9.99. And I just love the packaging. It's super cute. They had three other, um, three other tones, but I felt like the medium would suit me better. Um, so I'm very, very excited to try that. I also found 
one of their um, highlighting sticks and this one was for $5.99 at Marshalls. Um, their sticks are extremely pricey. I think that they're like $30 or over. So for $5.99, that's pretty good. So I'm very excited and I got it in the shade Mars. Um, <clears throat> I also picked up the um, concealer. This is the Flex Concealer. Um, I picked it up at Marshalls for $7.99, and I got it in the shade Light. Um, they didn't really have a lot of shades, so hopefully that one will work for me. Um, I also picked up the Kush Clear Brow Gel in the shade Hydro, which is just a clear gel. And, and this is the, I think this... I'm not sure if this is their full size or their travel size. I'm not quite sure, but this is what it looks like. I'm excited about that because I do love um, eyebrow mascara. That is something that I do enjoy. So I like that. And I also picked up the Kush Triple Brow Pen um, at Marshalls for $6.99. So this is the eyebrow pen and I got it in Dutch which it looks like a nice, like, medium brown. So I'm excited about that. Um, by the way, the um, brown mascara was $5.99 at Marshalls. Um, they also had the, um, the mascara, the Kush mascara, the regular one, and the waterproof. They had them in full size and, and travel size, but I decided not to pick up any of those because I do have a travel size of that mascara and I don't really like it at all. It's not my favorite mascara, so I decided to skip on those. Um, but then I do have a couple of lip products and a face wash. So this is the Matcha Cleanser and it's just the baby one. And I got it at Marshalls for $3.99. And since it's a cleanser, I didn't mind that it's a small size because that way I can um, test it first to see if I like it. Since I do have very dry skin, I like to test um, cleansers first before I commit. So excited about that. And then the last uh, three things that I found are lip products. So I found two of the, what are these called? The Kush Lip Balms. So I found the color Nug, and I found the color Bubble. So Bubble seems to be like a hot pink. So packaging looks exactly like the brow gel. And then this is what the lip balm looks like. Let's see if it has some color to it. So it does have a little bit of color, but it's very minimal. So I feel comfortable with this shade of pink. And it smells like mint. So. And then the packaging is magnetic, which is so nice. I'm very excited about these lip balms. I love a good lip balm. And these were $4.99 at Marshalls. And this is the color Nug. Same packaging, same magnetic closure. And then it's more like a skin tone type of lip balm. And it's that one right there, more nudie. And it has that same mint type of scent. So very excited about these lip balms. Very, very excited. And I picked up one of their lipsticks. I got this one at Marshalls for $5.99. And it's in the shade Kills. Again, it has that same type of packaging. It's a little bit more bulkier and more sleek. And then the lip gloss is right there. I love how the container has the actual name of the lipstick in it. And it's like a nude shade. So very, very pretty. And that is what it looks like right there. So beautiful. It doesn't really have a scent or anything. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find like an eye pigment or something. If I do, then I will have pretty much a full face of no makeup. So hopefully I can make that video soon. Um, I do want to share with you guys one thing that I purchased at Ross. And I was surprised to find Urban Decay at Ross. So I found this um, Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. I remember when these came out not that long ago. And it was only $6.99 at Ross. So this is the container right here. And I really like the color. And that's the reason why I decided to pick it up. It's so pretty. And here's the little applicator. Let's see if with my hand. 
Okay. Oh, that's a very pretty color. It's that one right there. I do enjoy a good, like, reddish um, tone, you know, lip product. So, very excited to try this on my lips. Cannot wait. But I want to let you guys know that Urban Decay is also at Ross. Ross actually has a lot of really good makeup right now. They have Too Faced, um, Urban Decay, um, basically almost everything that you find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they also have. Um, but they also have the Too Faced then and now palette which is like $30 which I really wanted it but I had to control myself because I really don't need any more eyeshadow palette but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video these are just some of the cool finds that I've been finding lately at TJ Maxx and Marshalls um I try to go at least once a week just to see if there's anything different anything new anything exciting um and I have to say that I did find a lot of really cool stuff so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well and I'll catch you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave me comments down below and I will see you on my next video